Plants vs. Zombies is a tower defense game released May 5th, 2009. In the game, you use seed packets and collect sun to defend your house from zombies. The game was great for both casual and competitive audiences because of its nice challenge. The game's easy to play, but hard to master. But today we're not talking about Plants vs. Zombies, we're talking about its shitty mobile alternatives. So the first game we're looking at is Plants vs. Goblins. Let's open it up and see what awaits us. So first of all, the game's flipped, so let me just flip that over for you. There we go. This is just the first level of Plants vs. Zombies. There's no other way to put it. But there are some differences. Sunflower's there, which is new. Pea Shooter never stops shooting. And the animation is super choppy. Now, without further ado, let's see our enemies. Okay, first of all, why is his head bigger than his actual body? 12 seconds later. To be honest, this just feels really similar to Plants vs. Zombies. There's not really much to say or commentate on, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the final wave clip. So this level is yet again just level 1-2 from Plants vs. Zombies 1, except this time you have this cherry bomb looking guy. The only other thing I really have to say about this level is it's a lot more like 1-3 in Plants vs. Zombies than 1-2. But that's not saying much since I don't even use cherry bomb in the actual Plants vs. Zombies. And we made it to the third level. I wonder how many levels there are in this game, cause the original had like 50. Oh. It only has 39. Well, that's depressing. Well, I guess we should just continue with the game. Like the rest of this game, this level is just a worse version of Plants vs. Zombies. But, they finally added another enemy. WAIT A MINUTE! Oh yeah! I already did that. Believe it or not, that troll guy is actually just the Conehead Zombie from Plants vs. Zombies 1. Oh yeah, also the sunflowers look depressed. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? So you may be wondering what that thing is. That is literally just a walnut. So I'm just gonna put a sunflower here- what? What? So, you could put flowers on areas that aren't even lanes. That just shows the quality assurance. Alright, so there's really nothing else to talk about in this game. So, let's just get to the rating. Overall, the game was just Plants vs. Zombies but worse. I was hoping as a ripoff it would have at least done something to change from the original. Overall, I don't recommend it. Especially since the original's free. So the next piece of shit, I mean high quality video game, is Plants vs. Bugs. What is this? The first thing to note is that it has a similar style to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Look at the 3D models. So, this is just the versus mode, and I was initially very confused by these two lanes. In the versus mode, you play as both the plants on the top, as well as the bugs on the bottom, where your opponent plays the bugs on the top and the plants on the bottom. It's a lot like versus mode in Plants vs. Zombies on Xbox, except you're playing two games, one where you're the plants and one where the zombies, at the same time. Nan I'm just gonna use my own music from now on, because this game just uses the same song over and over again for everything in the game. So here I am finally winning, and overall I think this is actually a really creative game mode. There is also a regular Plants vs Zombies mode, which is exactly what you'd expect. The only difference is that you play on the right side instead of the left side. In this level, you get a walnut ripoff. Although, this one looks kind of familiar. 
Mostly because they just stole it from the mushroom from Mario Bros. Yeah, there's not really much to note. It's just your standard Plants vs. Zombies ripoff. Except for the fact that you have to pay 10 gems just to use the shovel three times. Besides that, the pacing's also very slow. There's only a few bugs per level. Kill off the bugs, let's plant K-ill higher score! Despite the haha -ha funny text, this is, again, just your generic Plants vs. Zombies gameplay. Oh boy, I win! I repel all the bugs attack! So, after three levels, they finally added this weird beetle thing. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Okay, now it's time for my rating. Overall, this game was actually pretty good. I really enjoyed the battle mode and the fact that you play as both the plants and the bugs. The graphics are fine, they're not better than Plants vs. Zombies 3, but they're, fi they're fine, I guess. And overall, I do recommend you try this game, if you haven't already. That doesn't mean I'm keeping it on my iPad, though. Get the hell out of here. The next game is Ninja vs. Zombies War in Desert. Wait a minute, what's Ninja doing fighting zombies? Alright, let's play some Ninja vs. Zombies. So, which of these things do you think would start the game? The Oil vs. Zombies logo, or the play button? Alright, so I start playing, and the first thing I see is a stolen asset from Plants vs. Zombies 2. What the hell is that? That's just a ripoff of the raw zombie from Plants vs. Zombies 2. Also, the pacing in this game is really weird. First, there's only one or two, but then it throws like 16 gargantuars on every row. <gasps> oh no! I did not stop zombies! Let upgrade Emmy to stop zombies! Upgrade! So, unlike PVZ1, this game starts with all five rows, so that's pretty cool. Oh boy! We got a box! There's nothing inside the box, because it's just a walnut ripoff, but oh boy! Oh boy, I can't wait to use that walnut and, you know, place it down and, and use it and, and, you know, I'm so excited. There are two slots. What? Yeah, you only get two slots. Which I find weird considering this is a Plants vs. Zombies ripoff. You kind of want to, you know, use the plants you get. But I guess this game is just special. Also, this level doesn't have any new zombies. It just feels like a repeat of the last level. Okay, I think it's time for my review. This game's a pile of shit. The next game is Zombie Defense vs. Snipers, which I can't tell who we're playing as, the Zombie Defense or the Snipers. So this is the very high quality title screen. So this game has a few differences. There are no sunflowers anymore, which is alright, I guess. But you get money over time. Money is like sun in this game. This game has another new feature. It's called Reloading. Basically, your troops will run out of ammo, so you have to tap on them to replenish it. Also, compared to the Plants vs. Zombies series, these zombies are way too fast. Ay, 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 ay. In level 2, you unlock mines. You'd think they're one shot like the potato mines from Plants vs. Zombies, but no, it only does a chunk of health. Besides that, there's just a few more zombies. This level is basically the same as the first one. In level 3, you get a melee guy. This guy swings a sword around. The only issue is, his damage is so small that he ends up basically killing himself in the process. Overall, this guy's still a walnut clone. A more original walnut clone, but nonetheless, a walnut clone. What makes the walnut even worse is the fact that you can only have three characters die before you get an instant game over. This level also introduces a ripoff of the Buckethead zombie. This one is called the Chef Zombie. It's actually more like a rev off of the Conehead zombie, considering it takes two guys to kill it. Alright, let's wrap this up. Overall, this ripoff tries its best to distance itself from the original and sequel to Plants vs. Zombies. It brings a lot to the table, including the reloading, upgrading, and the free mines. Overall, it's a pretty good ripoff. The last game we'll be looking at is Trolls vs. Vikings. So the game starts by immediately giving you some stupid exposition. To put it simply, there's this dumb girl named Emma, she hears a conversation she's not supposed to hear, and it's between some viking and a guy who's offering zombots. So this level's kinda weird. Emma doesn't really do anything, and she's not in any of the other levels. 
So, like, what's the point of her even being there? If these slingshot guys replace Pea Shooter, that's pretty cool. Also, since this is the first level, why is there two rows and not just one? But then again, I actually do like that it shows the multiple lane mechanic, considering it's a big part of the game and all. As a reward for completing the first level, you get the ripoff Sunflower, which, eh, it's fine. The design's pretty ugly, but so is all the troll designs. But something I don't like is the fact that it teaches you about Moonstone, which is this game's equivalent of Sun, on the second level instead of the first. So after you kill literally three enemies, you get the Buster. This guy's like a Walnut clone, but there are three differences that make him way better. One, he can move around anywhere on the stage. Two, he heals when he's not being attacked. And three, he does damage to the enemies. Okay, so now that we've finished that level, it's time to do the last level before we end the video. This is mostly just your standard Plants vs. Zombies gameplay. Nothing too special here. Although I did end up making this pretty cool defense. Overall, this game was pretty high quality. It introduced the Buster, which is a really cool mechanic. And honestly, it's not half bad. So, I hope you enjoyed this weird dive into some shitty Plants vs. Zombies knockoff. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe and I might make more. This video took three days to edit, so honestly, I hope it was worth it.